Welcome to Retirement Millionaire Daily's weekly update, where we answer questions from readers like you. And sometimes we don't answer questions. This week we actually got a request from a subscriber telling us that he'd just been diagnosed with a certain medical condition and asked us for advice. Now, unfortunately, we can't always give advice like that. Individual medical advice is not something we're able to provide here at Retirement Millionaire Daily. We do try to touch on topics and give you as much information as possible. But it also brings up a really good point. As our subscriber mentioned, it's very hard to find information on his particular disease. So we wanted to talk today about patient education resources. Now there are three things that you should keep in mind when you're trying to find out more about a disease or an illness that you've just been diagnosed with. The first is to make sure you talk to your doctor. If you don't understand something, ask questions. Ask them specifically if they have patient education materials. Usually this is pamphlets or information sheets, um, sometimes provided by the drug companies or from medical research facilities. These are really good things to have. And second, you want to go ahead and look at some online resources. There are great websites out there, including ones that we recommend, like the Cleveland Clinic, the Mayo Clinic, Drugs.com has some great information, and we really like the Johns Hopkins Patient Education Portal. They have things like videos and sheets of information and just a lot of really great resources. And the third thing you want to do is try to find a special interest group. These are nonprofit organizations that tend to educate people and help them find the support they need for rare diseases. Uh, we know, for instance, someone who is diagnosed with a rare form of blood cancer who is able to get the help he needed from the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society because they do all kinds of blood cancers. Now, finally, the last point I want to leave you with is that any time you go to the doctor for a serious diagnosis or a surgical consult or anything like that, you really should have someone there with you to help ask the hard questions. I can tell you from experience, I went for a surgery consult earlier this year and it was a great relief to have my husband with me to ask the hard questions so that I could focus on being the patient. That's it for now. I hope these resources will help you. If you have any other resources you'd like to share with us or any more questions or concerns, please send them to our feedback line. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.